Hello geeks. If you were around last year, you might remember us attempt a Batman challenge where Tim and I and Jeremy and Brittany tried to become healthier and lose some of this excess baggage. Tim forgot it was going on about a week after it started, maybe two weeks. But anyways, fitness is important in our lives because we want to be around a long time in order to be able to game and check out the new games and new technology even longer than we already have. But how does a geek exercise? Well, well, it is my theory that the best exercise is something that you enjoy doing or something you're having fun doing. And you can't do it all at once. You have to do it in small steps. Don't try to go out there and run a marathon without even being able to walk a mile. For this video, I wanted to show you one thing that I do to get that small step started. Now, I know I still have a lot of excess baggage. I kind of been lazy lately, but I'm gonna get back on the game and I'm gonna bring you along for the journey and show you some of the fun ways I enjoy exercise. I like to show you my standing desk. Now, when it comes to gaming, I usually use a laptop and I usually sit on the couch while I play. But for my nine to five job, I actually work from home 12 hours on Saturday and Sunday and eight hours on Monday and Tuesday. After a few hours of sitting, even though I got a really nice comfy chair, you get tired of sitting, trust me. So I picked up the standing desk. This is in the standing position right now. And you could, if you wanted, use a standing desk for gaming purposes rather than working purposes, or you can use it for both. This one had some features that I really liked. It has four adjustable presets. So I have actually a sit, preset and a stand preset. It has actually four presets, so if you sh share the desk with somebody, they can have two presets and you can have two presets. Or if you have some equipment that you would like to integrate as well, like a bike that goes under your desk, or a desk elliptical, or even a desk treadmill, you might want a different height for that as well. Some USB ports on the side so I can charge my phones while I'm working. Another nice feature I like about this one is it does have a lock feature that you can if you remember to press and you accidentally press one of your preset buttons, it won't actually go up or down on you. It'll stay the same height until you press that lock button again to allow it to move up and down. This drawer that I'm not going to show you the inside of because it's a mess. I looked at a few different ones. I looked at the ones that you just put on your regular desk and I ended up deciding on getting a full new desk because of the reviews I saw out there. The keyboard wasn't very comfortable in the sitting position on many of the ones that you put on the desk. So a lot of people didn't like it. I also like the function that it's electronically goes up and down. I don't have to manually go up or down when I need to sit for a little while or stand. It's big enough for my two monitors and I actually do use a laptop at work but I don't open the screen. I just leave it closed on the docking bed. They say that sitting is the new smoking but it's actually standing still is the new smoking. So while, even if you have a standing desk, you have to do a little bit more than just standing. You have to actually move a little. Um, I've seen some people use these special masks that make you move around. I've actually put my old Wii system attached to a TV. I haven't actually finished setting it up yet, but once it is, I can do some exercises on it that I can still be working while I'm doing, such as step aerobics, that you don't have to actually be in rhythm with anybody. You just step, step, step as much as you can. Or some of the strength training ones like squats and stuff, you can do and still be able to work on your keyboard and such. I do really like this standing desk. I got it from Costco during a Black Friday sale and it was less than $300. But standing desks are a lot of money. But if you're doing something that you're sitting a lot, such as rating or working long hours and they're able to have your own desk. I would definitely suggest getting a standing desk. It helps so much from being having to sit all the time to being able to get up a little bit and move around a little bit. Even if it's not much of a workout, doing a little bit more than you did the day before is always better. So that is all I have for you today. Let me know if, what you think about standing desks. Do you have one? Did you want to try out one? What are your thoughts? Do you think they're stupid and overpriced? Let me know in the comment section below. 
And until tomorrow, geeks, bye.